Today, 49 free for commercial use fonts that you likely have never heard of. Actually, it should be 69 fonts instead of 49, but first, a quick word from today's sponsor. With the way the design industry is going, learning how to prototype is a no-brainer. Instead of putting flat files in front of your team, manager or client, imagine being able to hand them a prototype that's so good it feels like a real app or website. Now learn more about Framer later in today's video, but the first typeface today is a real gem and it's called a Baron. Now Baron has six fonts within its family ranging in three weights coupled with their italic counterparts. Now I'm totally in love with this typeface and considering it's free for commercial use, it is a true typeface gem. It comes across as impacting, modern, but also slightly retro in the same time, which is quite a rarity in Leatherform design. When browsing the download page, we can see a nice display of possible ways to use Baron running down the side. And of course, the information on the typeface itself and the fact that it's free. Now, what I really do like about this typeface is the difference in uppercase and lowercase letters. Sure, we essentially only have uppercase letters, but there is a slight difference as seen in the Q, the O, the U, and a few other letters. But yeah, Baron is awesome. End of discussion. We're going to follow that up with a narrow tool sans serif typeface called Mohave, which you can have in eight different fonts. So again, there are four distinct font weights with an italic version of each weight. When I saw Mohave, I did think I must have it and share it with you all in today's video. One thing in particular I'm very fond of with this typeface is how the numerical values look. And I do have a thing for zeros that have a line through them like this, and don't ask me why, it's just how I feel. But yeah, Mohab does come in both upper and lowercase letters, which is always nice to have with a typeface. I just simply gave Baron a pass recently because it's so original. Mohab is found on FontSquirrel, and you can see here all of the weights displayed neatly in front of you. But of course, the important thing everyone's wanting to know is that this typeface is free for commercial use. So when you're downloading and using it, there's no worry. No fuss, no muss. And we move on to this elegant serif typeface called Fog2 number five. And this is only available in one font. So this typeface is hyper elegant and it screams sophistication. And so it would be used best for serious or superior kind of design projects. Is the kind of typeface that would fit into a high-end fashion design and the numbers are also really quite elegant too. You can imagine this on a Vogue advertising campaign as an example. But moving on we now have another sans serif typeface called Metropolis and this is downloadable in 18 different fonts totally for free. That is a lot of bang for your buck so to speak and it's a really clean sans serif typeface. I personally see these other forms as very modern and geometric and as soon as I saw it I made sure to grab it. And as you would expect with such a typeface, it is available in both upper and lowercase examples. And I'm sure your font library would welcome it with open arms. So don't sleep on Metropolis and give it a download. So here's another sans serif font family, which is in my top five of sans serif fonts in 2021. And that is LT Amber. Now it does say here that this one comes in five different fonts. And that is not really true because the download on the font states 25 fonts. Now I personally made a mistake when I installed my fonts from this download and there are actually 25 fonts instead of five, which isn't something to complain about considering they're all free for commercial use. Just make sure not to make the same mistake as me and only install five of them thinking that's all there is in this font family. The tallest and most narrow typeface in today's list is cast iron. Now these kind of typefaces have a very specific use every now and then. And so I do like to have them in my library ready and waiting. It's only available in one font and there are no lowercase versions. So obviously it's a heading use font with lots of impact. You often see these fonts used in sci-fi type scenarios, but as seen on the download page, they can also be used on retro kind of designs. This font would work well within an antiquated style kind of logo, as you can see perfectly right here. Now what would a font list be without a nice slab serif? And so here is Ainsley to save the day, which comes in six different font downloads. Interestingly, two of those fonts are outlined versions, but taking a look at it, this typeface, I'm sure you can agree, is really, really neat. There is no difference to be seen in the upper and lowercase versions of this typeface, however. But don't let that put you off. Download this typeface and start using it on your projects because it's really, really nice and neat. And it's free for commercial use, as is everything in today's video. So next, another serif typeface, but this one is less elegant and less glam, but more serious and more uniform. 
Liberation comes in four different fonts, and I do really like the personality of this one. The numbers look really neat as well, and it's another great addition to your library, totally for free. We all need a few decent serif fonts, and this one is up there with Crimson for me personally. I found Liberation over on Dafont again, and this is a public domain typeface, which is free for commercial use. The sponsor of today's video, Framer, is a no-code, free-to-use tool making it easy for anyone to become a prototyper. Now, their mission is to help you get closer for real. Create your own smart components complete with multiple states without any code, as well as drop in pre-built components with the insert menu and make your own delightful custom animations 100% visually. So in just a couple of hours, you could have a new skill that helps you stand out from the crowd. Sign up to Framer for free at framer.com forward slash Satori Graphics. And that link is down in the description box below. So which font family did you really prefer? And are you going to download any for your library? Let me know in the comment down below. And of course, until next time, design your future today. Peace.